Hey guys, I wanted to do a video on fulfilling your dreams and living your life and wishing on certain things. In life, you can't wish for certain things. You just have to go do it. You want to live your life, you need to get out there and do it. It's not on TV, it's not on the radio, and it's not through these false propaganda programs that they put out there. If there's something in life that you want, you're going to have to get up off the couch and just go get it done. If something is holding you back like finances, if you have too many bills, well then you need to start reducing some of your bills. In life, guys, you only have one shot at life. There is no redo. There is no reset button. This is it. You have to live forward and forward only. Everybody has made mistakes. We all have. I mean, I've made thousands of them, and I'm going to make thousands more. I'm not proud of all the things I've done, but I'm not ashamed of the things I've done either. So, with that being said, for instance, this piece of property that I'm on out here, okay, I am not a rich man by any means, and I've got bills just like all of you guys do. And I'll go ahead and show you this. Now, this is getting personal, but I'm okay with that. See all those credit cards? If there's something in life that you want to do, especially living off-grid or homesteading, you have got to get rid of your credit card debt. You have got to dump that stuff as soon as you possibly can. Tackle each one as fast as you can. Get them down to zero. Save up some money. And then go do the things in life that you want to do. Now this piece of property cost me $24,000, of which I didn't have at the time. So I contacted the owner and I kind of finagled a deal with him. And those deals are everywhere in life. If there is something that you want bad enough, you will make it happen. That's just a truism in life. So my advice to a lot of you guys out there who are just starting out in life, know what your goals are and start working towards them. It's like building tools. You watch certain guys or you walk into their, uh, their garages and they've got a hundred grand worth of tools in there. Hand tools, power tools, they've got tools everywhere. The fact is, is that those tools are an accumulation of life's work. They pick up a tool here, a tool there, a screwdriver, a wrench, and the next thing you know it, ten years later, they've got a garage full of tools. And life is the same way. Nothing comes all at once. But you do have to have a starting point. And my starting point was buying this piece of property and then working out a deal with the owner. I didn't just come to him and say, here's $24,000, thank you for the property. Didn't work that way. I now have the property paid off. It took three and a half years, but I wasn't able to do all of that. I wasn't able to channel the majority of my money into paying off my property until I got rid of unnecessary bills, credit cards, Visa, MasterCard, all that stuff. You have got to get out from under credit card debt if you want a homestead, if you want to live off grid. You've got to get out from under the banks, guys. Once you do that, you start controlling your own life. The reason you go to work on Monday is because you have debt. Cars, boats, ATVs, Visa, MasterCard, Discover, all of it. I get it that it takes money to live every month. Trust me, I have bills as well. But I'm now in a much better place financially to where I control my future and not a bunch of banks. So if there's something you want to do in life, work towards it with baby steps. And that's the best thing, that's the best advice I can give you. You've got to get rid of your debt. And for all you young guys out there who are just starting out, have a goal, have a focus. And just remember, one thing at a time. Don't try to rush it. When I was young, I tried to rush it. All you young men out there right now, you're no different than I am. You're trying to rush it. Slow down, smell the roses, one thing at a time. Do it to completion, then work on the second thing. Whether it's building tools, getting rid of credit card debt. Don't buy things you can't afford. You know those brand new shiny trucks out there? The ones that got 2015, 2016s? Those are $40,000, dollars 
That is ridiculous that you would pay forty, fifty, sixty thousand dollars for a vehicle. Don't do it. Go get a truck that runs. If you turn the key and the engine starts up and it gets you from point A to point B and back, and every now and then there's a small little issue that you've got to fix, great. Fix it. But it's a heck of a lot cheaper than those brand new shiny vehicles that put you in debt for four, five years. Three, four, five, six hundred dollars a month just to drive a vehicle plus gas plus insurance. You're now driving an apartment. It's little things like that, little decisions that you make when it comes to financing and the banks that will literally cripple you, that will cripple your dreams. If there's something you want guys, you gotta work towards it in small steps. Everyone is going to stumble, that's just the truth. It happens with everybody. I'm no different. But it wasn't until later in life, my mid-thirties, that I started thinking, hey, the way I'm living and the way I'm spending money is wrong. This is not how I want to live anymore. And then I started coming up with the idea of, of I want a piece of property. I want to go get that piece of property. And I'm going to need tens of thousands of dollars worth of tools and supplies and just food and money in the bank and this, this and that and the other. It all adds up. So once I started focusing on that, got all these credit cards paid off. I've got seven credit cards with zero balances. I've got excellent credit. I can walk into any dealership right now and buy something brand new, 0% financing. If they won't give me 0% financing, I'll go to the next dealership. If I want a house, I'll walk right into a bank right now and I'll buy a house at the lowest possible percentage rate. And the only way to do that is by getting on top of the whole credit rating. When you have credit and you owe no debt, they come running towards you. They're throwing money at you. Don't take it. Let them go. You don't need these fancy things. If you want a house, if you get approved for a $200,000 house, Go buy a $115,000 house. Start buying things well below your means. Don't buy things all the way up to what you can afford. Because then that will start hurting you in other areas. For all you guys that want a home off-grid or a homestead, start building up your tool collections. One tool at a time. And that's basically just general steps for life in and of itself. Take your time and be smart with your finances. I didn't get out here until my late 30s. A lot of you guys out there, if you're smart, you can do it in your early 20s. It's up to you, what you want and when you want it. Stop wishing. Start doing. There is no reset on this, guys. You can only live forward. If you currently live in a suburb and you are just straddled with debt and you can't stand the way you live, the whole humdrum life, get up, go to work, come home, eat dinner, go to bed, repeat cycle five days a week, and then on Saturday and Sunday, those are your days, and then repeat cycle Monday through Friday. If you're trying to get out of that, the best way to get out of that is to get a hold of your finances. Stop buying things you don't need. Stop buying things that your neighbors have. Stop keeping up with the Joneses. Set a goal and baby step your way to that goal. And that's just general advice that my grandfather taught my father. My father tried to teach me. I didn't listen to him. I ran forward, racked up a bunch of debt. And literally for five years of my life I was absolutely strapped to the banks. The banks owned me. I didn't own me. I wanted to go on vacation. I couldn't. Didn't have the money. Had too many bills. I wanted a piece of property. Couldn't buy it. Had too many bills. It's all because of the way that I was living. And it wasn't until my middle 30s that I really started getting a hold of how I was living and how I was spending money. And so my advice to all you guys, you, especially you young guys out there, if you have a dream, laser focus in on it. Go get it done.
This is not a video game. There's no reset button. Once you've wasted or spent 10, 12 years of your life living a certain way, you cannot get those years back. You just can't. So if there's something you want, guys, turn off the TV, go out there, get busy, and get it done. Best of luck to all of you. Last word, last piece of advice, get the banks out of your life. Stop buying things that you truly can't afford. Other than that, best of luck to all of you guys on your journey in life. I sure wish all of you the best. I hope we cross paths one day. If we do, come up, shake my hand, slap me on the back. You know, tell me hello. I would love to talk with you guys. The comments that keep coming in, I love them, guys. Thank you very much for all of them. A lot of you are very encouraging. There are a few trolls that hit my channel every now and then. That's fine, too. They're more than welcome. Come on, let me hear what you got to say as well. I'll take it all. But I think that the advice that I just gave, it was given to me, and I'm just passing it on. I am not some guru sitting over here telling you how to live your life. But I will tell you this. Get the banks out of your life and watch how you spend your time and your money. Because money is time. You have to go to work, that is your time, and then you get a small paycheck for that. And if you blow that paycheck on things, shiny things, in the end it's just not worth it, guys. Everybody likes new things. I get it. But buy things within your means so you can also have other things. You may live in the city or in the country right now. You may want another piece of property, a lake house, a beach house, whatever it may be. But if you start strapping yourself with high debt, you all of a sudden have no room at the end of your credit cycle, so to speak. You are now living paycheck to paycheck like millions and millions of Americans and they're miserable with their life. And the banks will completely own you. Get these people out of your life. Take control of your life by getting rid of these people. Banks are necessary. When you need money, go borrow money. But make sure that it's on your terms and not theirs. When you have good credit, you have the upper hand. Walk into a bank. Try to get a loan. As soon as he tells you a finance rate that you don't like, walk out. There are more than one bank out there. Go try the next guy. But you can't be in that position unless you have good credit, unless you start paying off all your debt. Once you start paying off all your debt, these guys are more than happy to throw money at you. Doesn't mean you have to take it though. Best of luck to all of you. I hope I cross your path. Take care of one another. Signing off.